Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play by Andrew Kazooie. I did that before in Kirby 64, and I was like, what the f I was like, watching back at it, and I was like, what the fuck? And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do the same thing, and we watch it back at them and be like, what the fuck? Now, this is hard, because you gotta not slide and break that window. I love the, I love the glass breaking effect, like, you don't see it, but any, like if you do look closely, you will notice there's glass pieces flying off, and it's just beautiful. I got all the Jinjos yet? No, I haven't. Okay, one Jinjo is in the water. Actually, that's the only Jinjo I haven't gotten yet. What am I saying? The pink Jinjo is in the water. Which is a pain in the ass to get. Four I missed, and I know where they are. Oh, please don't actually be there. Oh, no, please don't actually be there. Don't be in the water. Oh, they aren't. Oh, God, I just remembered where they are. There's somebody who loves me, and his name is God. Breathe, Banjo. Breathe them toxic fumes. I love that's take, take a second for it to like wash off. That's kind of cool. Really advanced for N64 times. Actually, this game is really advanced for N64 times. Like, you never really think about that, but it is. It's a really fucking advanced game. And there's the last note right there, so we're good. You found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. Now just blasts. Thanks, guys. I found this earlier. It's yours. That's not a dolphin sound. I don't know his name. They never, never tells you his name. I don't think. And if he does, you have to actually get close to him when he's under there. I think he's the only character in this level besides the enemies. I just realized that. I should get on the surface now. I wonder if that's very realistic, swimming in dirty water like that actually gets you sick without even, like, fucking trying. So that's nine jiggies in this level, okay. We're moving fast. And I know where the last jiggy is, it's right over here. Right underneath this thing, you notice this little broken part I didn't go into right away. Cause I don't want to do this. I really don't. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, it's the last. Freak. 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 Need air. Need air. Need air. Need air. Need air. Need air. Like a bear needs his Fruit Loops. And we're free. We got everything. Wow! The best note to score for this world is now 100. Why am I talking like one of them biker guys? That was weird. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, what the hell was that? Now I'm gonna go to the Click Clock Woods room. Because there are some things I forgot to do in there. I just now realized that. Like, looking back at the episodes, I forgot to go in there and, uh, activate the cauldrons, and, um, what else did I forget to do? I forgot to build the puzzle, that's for damn sure. And now I have enough jiggies, I'm pretty sure I can enter, uh, the end of the game now. I can actually, you can actually, I actually did, to be honest. I actually finished this game without fucking going to Click Clock Wood my first time playing. I didn't even know Click Clock Wood existed. I thought this room was kind of pointless. Oh, that worked! Remember this room felt special to me the first time I went in here? 
Because I was, like, really good at this game back in the day, but I never could get this far. And I got in here, and it just felt really special to me. Something about it was just really nice. The fact that I was sitting in the Click Clack -clack Woods room. But, uh, no, I never actually got Click Clack Woods. I thought this was a really peaceful room that Rare thought we might like to see. That didn't catch my attention at all. And I went to Click Clack Woods for my first time after beating the final boss. And I was like, oh my god, this is such a cool level. Why did I never discover this earlier? Also, I don't know why I'm also a dumbass who forgot to go into the Magic Cauldron. I love these remixes of Grinchilda's Lair. I don't know why, they're just- they're nice. They're nice. They're just nice remixes you got there. But you might remember that one room I went into that one time. That I didn't do anything in, it was a puzzle room. I said it was the final level. Well, yeah, about that being the final level. We're at the final level already. This is a very short game. Like, this is artificial length. Like, if you fucking know where everything is, this game is stinking short. Well, then, Kirby 64. You know, where all the Christmas cards are, you can get them pretty quickly, too. And I loved games like this back in the day, where if you, did, or you could beat it quickly, but not knowing where everything was made it really long. Like, Nuts and Bolts, I'm still not done with that game. And this is, this is, we need to do something like that more often. Not Nuts and Bolts, but the fact that, like, if you never, you know, if you need to, the way you progress is all based on knowledge. And if you don't have the knowledge, you need to learn knowledge of the game. And it's just a slower moving game if it's your first time. And with that, I mean, LPing it is a lot easier, because, like, it's not going to take a million years like a day when you first played the game. And... <sighs> okay, guys. Okay, guys. Okay. This is almost it. It's almost the final level. But we need to get a jiggy real quick that I forgot to get. I just realized that. You know what? Screw this. I have so many of these damn things. I avoided more than I killed. Okay. Oh, fuck it. I'll grab some. And that's almost everything in the game. I think we're almost done with this game. Wow. This is going rather quickly. I, I usually suck at this game. Like, I literally had a 500 minute episode series one time of this game. I don't know how long a fi how many hours 500 minutes would be. I'm not really in the mood to calculate it in my head. About 480 would be... No, what? Let's see. Okay. 42... 420 would be 6 hours. 7 hours. 7 and a half hours. Or 7 and 1 third hours if you want to be a bitch about it. 7 and 1 third hours of fucking Banjo-Kazooie. That is just sad. But I think I stopped it at like 7 minutes though. This is... This is literally like 30 episodes in a nutshell. Which also shows how fucking long Kirby's epic yarn is. 20 minute episodes and I still take 30 to do it. 600 minutes of Kirby's epic yarn. Oh my god, that game... Ugh, it's alright, but it didn't need that many minutes of gameplay. You know, I'm gonna stop it here. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. I'm gonna go freaking feed myself, because I am starving. And I think feeding my stomach is more important than this game at the moment. So I'm just gonna go f eat off screen. See you then.